What's up everyone? It's Chris with Bottle Cat Barbecue. Well, we're back out at the Blackstone and today we're gonna to be doing an all-American classic, the patty melt. Let's get going. So we got two of our three burners going right now. We got the middle one on high. We got this side over here on a low and this side's off. We're gonna be using this as kind of a warm holding zone. This thing's almost up to temp. Let's go over our, our ingredients. So first off, I have about a half pound of beef. It's an 80-20 blend. I didn't do too much of this beef. I just did a few splashes of some Worcestershire sauce <laughs> and a few sprinkles of whatever seasoning you want. I use Luton Booty's um, What's Your Beef Rub. You just wanna get some flavor in there. We're, gonna, we're also gonna do some salt and pepper once it's on the grill, but just flavor your meat somehow. Again, I just use some Worcestershire and some rub, whatever you got. Got a little bit of a sweet white onion, uh, about, about a quarter of an onion per sandwich. It's just me, so I'm just making one sandwich today. Got some Swiss cheese, trying to keep this classic. And I got some sliced brioche bread. Get some oil on here. What we're doing first is our onions. Get these sauteed up. Put some salt on there. All right. While those are cooking up, take some butter flat top and get our brioche down on there I like to do it this way rather than kind of heating up some butter then brushing it on I don't have one of those kind of butter rolling things so this, this tends to work I mean this is the soften up get some caramelization on them spread doing all right there we go and put some butter on there Still learning my way about how to <laughs> manipulate food on this thing. It's been fun. It's really fun when you get to use two of them. You don't want to take these things too far. I you just want some good browning, some caramelization, and get them soft. They're almost there. There you go, bread's done. Once bread's nice and toasted, put it in our warm zone just to keep warm. All right, onions are good, uh, nice and brown. They're pliable. They're still gonna cook a little bit in their own oil. What we're gonna do is kind of push them over to, the, to our warm side clean off this area a little bit. Okay, now comes the fun part. A little bit more oil down. Let's 
Smash burgers. Get your meat on there. And what I'm using, because I don't have the right stuff yet, brick covered in aluminum. Smashed down. Perfect. So, guys, if you have an extra smash burger apparatus, I will gladly take it off your hands. All right. While those are going, I'm going to get my press put it over here just to get warm we're going to use that once we start building the sandwich all right it's been about a minute and a half oh yeah got crust on there perfect so at this point do a little bit of salt pepper. I only do this on one side so it doesn't get burned. And plus that's why also we use the rub in the meat itself. So there's lots of flavor in there. Alright. Not going to be too much longer so let's go ahead and put our cheese on. Alright, it's good. Sandwich ready. There, what you want to do is put that right in the bun, that right in the bun, get some nice oil spot ready, onions on there, some's gonna fall off. This isn't a science or anything. Got a bun on top. Put that in position. Let that sit for a minute. If you want to save these uh, onions pieces, it's good stuff. What am I trying to do? get into a more dry spot. Same thing. That's it. Switch it off. We're done. All right, let's get into this thing. So you guys can see it. Still getting used to filming outside, so. Oh, look at that. Juicy. Got the cheese in there, onions. Tell you what, this thing smells fantastic. Smells like the diner experience. Bread is firm, but buttery. Nice and toasty. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. Those onions really pop out. The meat is moist and has lots of flavor from both the rub and the salt. Personally, I probably would have put more pepper on it. I like pepper steak. So it kind of has that same flavor context. Hmm. Cheesy, obviously. There's just something unique about the flavor of a sandwich or a hamburger coming off of the griddle versus a charcoal grill or smoker or something like that. It's different. 
you get the juiciness from its own juices as it's cooking instead of them dripping away. You notice I didn't put a lot of oil on there, so all the juices and oil it's cooking in is its own. That just kind of gives it a robust flavor. And you got the butter on the bread, the sweet onions caramelized, the, the seasonings we use, just fantastic. Please give us a try. I'm loving this Blackstone. Still getting the feel for it. It has this little quirks here and there, but I'm a newbie at it. Obviously, I can cook some awesome stuff. I didn't do a lot. This is just for me. The kiddo's not here, so I'm just eating for myself. Hey, guys, I hope you like this. Please give a thumbs up down below. Let me know how you like it. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. And please let me know what you would like to see me do next on this thing. So, it's like I always say, no matter what you got, no matter how you're going to do it, just cook it. See ya.